John here guys and today we're talking about the Beta FPV 1805 motor that they have just come out with. Um, I don't really usually talk a lot about motors uh, on the channel specifically but I felt like this was notable enough to make a separate review just on this. Now I know what everybody wants to know about is about this thing, the pod racer, and it's coming soon, but I still need to get it on some gates. I still need to try a few more props, but this set of motors is really unique. It's really offering a lot of performance and an amazing amount of efficiency. And the reason I thought it was notable is because on this setup here, which is the Pod Racer 5 inch, 5 inch T mount props on this thing, and an 850 milliamp 4S battery, I got eight minutes of flight time, and that's doing probably about five or 10 punches, about 20 or more power loops. I wasn't just cruising around, right? So this is really something special. So let's get to the bench and take a couple of notes on what this means. Well, the guys at Beta FPV are at it again, and I don't normally do a ton of reviews on motors, but this was a special exception that we had to make. They are bringing back the 18 millimeter size stator. This is an 1805 size motor. Look at the beautiful um, blue, that nice coloring on this motor bell. Um, but they have really achieved something kind of unique in addition to making this a unique 18 millimeter size motor with a T um, style mount. This gives you some unique properties here uh, when matched with a very special KV. This is 2550 KV, which seems very low and it's meant to go on 4S. They actually make a lower KV that is 1550, I think, that is meant for 6S. Now, what does that do? Well, uh, I have a full video on this. This is the uh, Source Pod Racer, and I have these motors installed on here, and I'm running them on this 5-inch prop. This is the 5-inch um, HQ T-mount, and the combination of this all-up, um, or this dry weights with uh, props strap is 161 grams 161 grams so 161 grams with these 1805 motors with this 850 milliamp um, battery i've ran this one this is the one that comes with the emax uh, four inch and i've also run the tattoo version i was able to get eight minutes of flight time eight minutes of flight time now that's you know about five or ten punches mixed in there probably 20 power loops i actually started to get bored around five minutes, but I just wanted to see at that point how long I could push it um, before it finally just wanted to fall out of the air. And I, I landed about, you know, 3.45 uh, volts per cell. And this is something special. This is something unique. I have ran this exact same size um, 4S battery, 850 milliamp 4S on a number of light quads. Um, I ran them on the Dytone GTR349, which is 140 grams, 3 inch. I've run them on the Twig Mutant 4 inch and the Gep RC Dolphin. Those are both um, 4 inches that are around the same weight, about 150, 160 grams. Um, and then on this 5 inch, and this is really where special things start to happen. With those other quads... Um, on the Diatone, I could get probably the same type of flying about five minutes, which is really good. That was probably the best of those. Um, the Twig 4-inch and the Dolphin would both get maybe the same way I was flying four minutes, uh, maybe three and a half. Um, so those crafts I actually did take on, a, on tracks. And so that was just enough power to be able to take those two and a half minutes, just barely. Like the Twig Mutant 4 inch was probably the best of the bunch on the track, and it really struggled to make two and a half minutes. It would really start to fall out of the air closer to two minutes. This, I am pretty confident that pushing full throttle the entire time would allow you that extra speed. Now, one thing about running wider motors on a racing build as opposed to taller motors. This is a wider 18 millimeters across, 5 millimeters tall. 
is that you have a little bit more footprints to hit the gate. So I really suggest a frame design like this one that has some motor protection. See how this sticks out, so you're gonna hit this first. I'm also probably gonna design an arm guard that'll give even a little bit more motor protection on there. So stay tuned. I am gonna have a full video of this build if it's not already up on the channel. But, wow if you have not tried this size on 4s with something that is very light um, and five inch definitely suggest you do it now th this prop is not just off because i took it off to show you guys it's actually broke at the hub it just ripped and that was not in a crash i just landed into a bush as i sometimes do instead of falling from the sky and it just fell off I mean, so these props are probably not ready. I've been talking to Zong to try to figure out if this is a bad batch or that's just how these are. Um, Beta FPV actually recommends the five inch gym fan T-mount. So I'm gonna try that next. So what do you guys think? I really think I like these. They're offering the same amount of power, maybe a little bit more compared to like my previously favorite motor, which is like a 1408. Uh, I really like the taller size. This wider size though is giving me a lot more efficiency. So if I can have that same amount of power, but I can have enough power to really push it to the max for two to three minutes in a race, or give me five minutes of really hard freestyle, or give me eight minutes of mixed freestyle like I flew, or give me 10, 12, 15 minutes on a larger size battery. This is still a pretty small battery for this quad. Um, so I could easily put on a 1000, an 1100, or maybe even something like a 1500 4S pack. It wouldn't be too heavy for it at all. And who knows how long you can fly with it. What do you guys think? Are you going to be switching? Are you going to be trying it out? If you're on T-mount props, I really suggest you give it a shot. These are a little bit big for a 4-inch, but 5-inch... They really found an amazing KV difference. We're all used to flying about 3,000 to 5,000 for 4S, and by lowering it, but increasing the width of that stator size, Beta FPV has come up with something special. Thanks, guys.